Hey everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial series on our latest template called Animated Social Posts. As the title dictates, this is a template that will help you to create dynamic social media posts directly in After Effects and then have them animated um, just like that in seconds. Let's start by taking a look at the different social media posts that we have here and I'll then explain the differences between them and when is it best to use each type of the post. As you can see here, we have post templates for three different social media platforms. That is uh, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, Twitter. And I'm sure we're going to add more uh, down the line, but um, these three is what we focused on for now. Uh, we'll use Tweet for our demo. So I'll close down these other two. And as you can see here, we have a couple of variations in this folder. We have an animated one, uh, an image one, and there's also a still. So let me explain what are the differences between them. Image is essentially just an image. So all we're doing here is adding it into a comp and then wrapping it using this box to get uh, the, the nice and sort of sharp edges. So let me show you how I can add a different image here to create a different tweet. So for example, we go here and I want to add this tweet to our image template. I will take a screen grab of it, cropping it a little bigger and then we're going to drop that screenshot into my assets. And here it is. So all I need to do now is select my Twitter page PNG layer here. I'm going to select my screenshot, hold the Alt or the Option key on your Mac, and swap it out like that. Next, let's reposition it. set the height of my container to something like this. Adjust the scale, position. And finally, I think this container should be a little taller. And that's my tweet. So that was super quick. But the one limitation I have with using this approach is that at the end of the day, this is only an image. So it loses quality as I get closer to it. Um, as you can see here. And also, I can't animate any of its elements. But if you have a complex scene, say something like this, where we have a whole bunch of posts floating above the ground, and while we have our main post over here, some of these posts are actually just fillers to make the scene look more busy. So in that case, you can quickly find your tweet image comp and swap them out. And such post is going to do a great job here. So next is a still. And this is pretty much what this template is all about. High quality posts where I can zoom in as much as I want and everything looks sharp. And where I can edit whatever I want and the post just adjusts to my changes without breaking anything. So the still is pretty much the same thing as the animated post, except for the obvious fact that it's not animated. And you don't always need things animating all the time, so it's a perfect post template for all of those cases. So let's take a quick look at how does this work and how do we go about inserting our own content here. As you will notice, each post has a bunch of settings that you can adjust, and they're all kept over here on the post settings uh, layers effects tab. So say if I want to turn off this section here about a retweeted post, I can do that by simply turning this guy on or off. I want to turn off the verified icon, done. I want this guy disabled, gone. And let's switch it to following. We can also blur user's name in case you want to keep it anonymous. And then what we have here, which is pretty cool, is different types of media blocks that you can add to your post. So sometimes people are just sharing a message, and in that case, you don't need any media block, and you can just leave the message. If, uh, if they're adding an image or a video, you can use this block over here. Um, 
then it can also be a small article, a large article, or even a retweet. I think we've covered all of the cases here, but um, but let me know if, if we missed anything. So let's do a quick demo here and see how we create a custom post. First, let's find ourselves a good example. And yeah, I think this guy is going to be great. Okay, so we start by getting all of the images from this tweet. I go to this girl and I save her profile picture like this. And then I also do the same to save this image. Next, I go back to After Effects and import these two images into my assets. And let's keep them organized. Now let's start from the very top, um, where it says Envato retweeted. And on ours, it says Video Hive. So let's change that to Envato retweeted. Next, we don't have any follow buttons, so let's just turn that off. And let's change the name to Julia something. It doesn't need to be exact here. And we'll also change this handle. Then let's copy the actual post message and paste it back here. Okay, and now as you can see, we should have some blue text over here. So I'll turn back on my verified icon for a sec so I can pick the color from it as it's the same as these elements and the same, and we'll do the same with Envato. All right, couple of minutes and we're already making great progress here. Next, let's change this user icon. And I could just change it directly within this comp but I'd actually suggest that you create a new copy of this icon so that you are not changing it on all of the other posts as well. Uh, and we're gonna call it uh, tutorial. And while holding the Alt or Option key, I'll swap it out for the one in our scene. And then here I can change this icon for our newly imported user image. And here we go. Next, we have this element here, which is the image of our post. So let's change our media block to article large. And then I double click on this element in order to edit it. And, and actually, um, let's go back up and create a copy of this element as well so that we're not changing it on some other tweet just in case it's being already used. And we're gonna call it tutorial. Now swap it out, and once I go into it, I can start editing this article element. Let's swap out this image over here. Scale it up, something like this. Remove the play button. And then change the copy. Okay, but since I can't copy it, I'll have to type it um, by hand. And so we do that. Then finally, we can change the date. And the number of social impressions. And that's our tweet done. All right, and so that's a quick demo illustrating just how easy it is to create such dynamic tweet. And now if I needed to create an animated one, then the process is exactly the same, but I'd use this post template over here. Right, and now one extra thing that our animated tweet has here is the text animation feature. And there's two ways you can animate it in. By default, you see here that it says at the start meaning the text will animate alongside with the post animation.
The other option is called uh, use a slider. And what does that mean? Use a slider means that we'll be controlling its animation using this slider and these keyframes over here. So let me write up a shorter message to demo this better. Something like this. And as we're previewing it, you can see that it has a little bit of variation uh, to the speed that it's writing in. And that's to make it look more natural. And if I turn this off, you'll see that the animation is much more linear. If I want to, I can also break up my line of text by creating a couple of pause keyframes. And essentially, you have a lot of freedom over how you can animate this text. All right, and that wraps up our post section. And the same principles apply whether you're creating an Instagram or a Facebook post. So next, let's take a look at the animated scenes, and I'll try to keep this brief as this is the easy bit.